question, but uh, Richard has a, has a question in the chat. Um, and maybe this is something you could help him out with. Uh, he wants to know if you have any advice from transitioning from selling non-luxury clients to luxury clients. I know that's something I assume you went through in your career. Um, it seems like a difficult thing to do, but how do you have any, do you have any advice for someone looking to make that, make that move? Oh yes, I do. Um, in fact, I want to, I want to give, you know, Dan, if it's okay, I'll ask people just, just DM me. I'm at, I'm at Instagram, Instagram. My, my tagline is luxury travel by Belvin and just put, uh, you know, you want to, you know, you want to learn more about luxury and I can just tell you, you know, I'll give you a link of what I've, what I've worked on. But with that being said, I really would say anybody who wants to get into the luxury style and I've transitioned, it's all about solving a problem, everything, because I come from a sales background. So, you know, a lot of people are scared to talk and they're scared of, of, of being rejected. Um, I come from a, a, a time where you had to ask a girl to, for a slow dance and, and you knew you may get rejected, but you went anyway. So you have to understand, get, out, get away from that negativity. You go back and you, and you talk and, and you kind of figure out what type of problems they have and how I can solve them. And when it comes into that luxury, you really have to figure out what is your niche in that luxury frame. So do you want to be that person who's... Uh, you may want to do luxury high-end cruises. You may want to, uh, you know, work on a different uh, a, a, a destination or a style of travel. With me, I kind of push a lot of cel uh, celebratory travel. So a lot of people come to me for birthdays and anniversaries and reunions. And you want to make sure that I would say one of the big things is you do not want to sell or design experiences from your own pockets, meaning you don't want to put a price on their, on their experience. You don't want to say it's too high. You never want to say it's, it's too high. You let them set the limits of what the, what the price is, you know, what the price can be. So I don't want to, you know, I, you know, some people, if you come from that, that deal background or that, that, um, you know, that budgetary travel and you bring that mindset into luxury travel, you're going to hurt yourself. You know, you're going to really, you're going to really kind of, it's going to be a challenge for you because you're selling from your pocket instead of the, the client's pocket. Yeah. 